Kia ora guys, Miss Lanza here. Today I'm going to be taking you through a compare and contrast hot map. This is the map here. Right, we're going to start off by comparing two sports. We're going to compare netball and basketball. So it's nice and simple. Okay, if you're at this level of understanding, then you are at a solo level of pre-structural. So you do not yet know or haven't yet identified any similarities or differences between the two. I'm going to start with some similarities. Ball. So it's played on a court and you shoot into a hoop. Oh, that's some similarity. Then we're going to go across and do some differences. So the first difference, the number of players, the ball is bounced, and that there is a backboard. <coughs> Go strict positions. Play starts in centre court. And there's one point per goal. So when you're at this point, you're at a multi-structural level of understanding, so you're able to identify the similarities and differences between the um, two sports. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to explain why. Use my green. Okay, so player numbers. So this is a difference because in basketball there are five on court, whereas in netball there are seven. Okay, so that's one reason and explanation why basketball the ball is bounced. Netball, netball you're not allowed to bounce the ball and. Basketball has a backboard, and the netball just has the hoop. Okay, the similarities, um, it's one round ball, that's the same in both. Um, the size is a little bit different, but that's a similarity. Um, it's played on a court, both are played on a court, therefore it is a similarity, and you shoot into a hoop. Okay, so those are your similarities between, and a little explanation, strict positions, diff um, different in netball, because well, the positions are restricted in terms of where they can move. Play starts in centre court, whereas in basketball it's at the back court. And one point per goal in netball, whereas basketball is two, point, uh, two points and three pointers. Cool, so if you can identify reasons and, and um, explain the because as to why they're different and why they are similarities, then you're at a relational level of understanding. Okay, and then we go on to our extended abstract level finally down the bottom. Okay, extended abstract level is when you take the information and you make a statement around that. So that would be... So that takes you up to extended abstract level. Okay, despite the fact that netball and basketball are both court-based invasion games, there are many differences between the two. These differences are responsible for the different types of play required for each sport. Okay, so I've made a statement that brings it all together, resulting in your extended abstract level of understanding. Okay, thank you for watching.